Hello and welcome back to another video. Glad you're here. Uh, today I'm going to take a glass jar and going to stain it. Kind of a method I learned uh, watching a few other things. A lot of people use Mod Podge. Um, it's gonna. What we're gonna do is it's gonna kind of tint the glass with the color, whatever color you want to use. I'm just gonna be using an enamel clear coat with uh, resin dyes mixed in with it and then we're going to spray it the outer surface of it and it's going to tint the glass kind of stain the glass a certain color and uh, kind of a neat little fun project for you know just kind of changing up a regular jar adding some color to it uh, use it for any variety of things you want so uh, let's take a look at the process, see how it's done, and see what it looks like when it's all finished. I said, of course, uh, you're going to need a jar, uh, any size jar you want to use, doesn't matter. Um, I'm holding it by the lid here because I'm, I've am i already cleaned the jar, and I don't want to get my fingerprints back on it. Uh, you can clean it with soap and water, any kind of uh, lacquer thinner or anything like that. Just make sure it's clean and dry and free of oils and dirt and everything before you start. Um, you can tape this off if you want. Um, I'm not going to be using the lid after this, so I'm just using the lid as something to hold on to and something to mask off the inside so that I don't get anything on the inside of it because I don't want any paint or anything on the inside of the jar. And of course, the next thing we need is an enamel enamel clear coat. Uh, enamel works really well because it's a good uh, it's a good durable clear coat. Uh, and then this is a gloss. Just a regular enamel gloss, acrylic enamel gloss. Clear coat, and what I'm going to be using is these resin dyes. I find these work really well with the uh, clear coat. Um, I don't know if I haven't tried food coloring or anything like that uh, in this, so I'm not exactly sure how it would work out, but I know this works really well, so something like this will work. You just take your clear coat. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, now you're going to put in, start with a couple drops, and uh, stir that up, see how it, kind of see how it's going to look. Um, it's not really going to be quite as dark on the piece itself once it's sprayed in or sprayed on rather because it's going to be a lot thinner coat than that As you can see it's got kind of a blue color and this is just something else you can play with and test something you can do too if you spray this and you don't like it at all you can go on and just wipe it off with a paint thinner or lacquer thinner anything like that you can just wipe it off right then and there clean it all up and start right back over again if you don't like the finish on it or if the tint wasn't right or something like that so you can you can keep doing it over and over again until you like it the way you get it the way you want it now once you get it all mixed up um, I'm gonna be using this little gravity fed touch-up gun it's kind of a high velocity low pressure type of gun uh, any any type of spray gun will work, whatever you want to use for your specific project, whatever kind of gun you have that will uh, spray in enamel or any type of other finish like that. Uh, so I'm just going to pour this in here and I'm going to take the jar out in the paint booth and just set it up like this. Like I said, I'm just using this as a mask to not get anything inside of it or get anything around the rim. Um, I, I like taping this off because you could use it as a drinking glass if you wanted to, but you don't really necessarily want finish and stuff up around where your lips are going to be on it. And once this is done, um, you can you can use it, like I said, as a drinking glass or something. Uh, just use like a mild soap and water to wash it off in a, you know, a nice soft cloth because you don't want anything that's going to try to scratch the finish. But um, it's kind of neat, or you can just use it as a decoration, put something in it, set it up somewhere and look at it. Um, like I said, you can tape this off. I'm just using the lid because the lid's not going to be used after this. So I'm um, set it up out in the paint booth, uh, put the finish in here, and then spray over everything. And then you can look at it as you spray it. If you think it needs another coat, 
you can wait a couple minutes and put another coat on it and what that will do is add another layer of another like shade hey bro help what happened you were doing so good focus please hello right here hello okay <clears throat> and uh, what that will do is as you put more coats on it will darken the tint a little more each time uh, kind of an extra shade like I said if it comes out it looks like it's too light you wait a couple minutes put another coat on it and it will darken it down a little bit you can just keep doing that until you get it where you want it and then let it completely dry and cure however long it takes for your specific finish to fully cure and then it should be ready to go at that point so let's go out here and spray it take a look at it and we'll see it after it's all dried up So you can see there how light it is. Um, if you know you want something darker than that, um, like I said, it's something you can experiment with. You can put a, put a lot more dye in your finish before you start. Or if it's something you're wanting to try to, you know, find a specific shade, you can start with something like this. And then uh, I'm gonna go on here, do a few more coats and kind of darken it down and show you how, how you can darken it down as you go. So there it is all done uh like i said it's, it make, makes a really pretty pretty little project um use this for uh like a vase or like i said you can drink out of it if you want just let it fully cure before you do anything with it and wash it with a, a mild soap and water and let's uh like a soft cloth or something you don't want to you don't want anything really aggressive like a sos pad or anything to like steel wool or anything like that you don't want to try to scrape up the finish but uh, it should be pretty durable just far as with just soap and water cleaning stuff but like i said you can just keep going over it more and more coats more and more layers we'll just make it darker and darker and darker until you get uh with the shade you're looking for or whatever so but there it is um pretty neat little project like i said once you take the lid off uh, it hasn't completely dried yet but this is still what the finished product's going to look like once you take the lid off uh, there won't be any paint there or anything uh, you can just throw that away or Use it, use it for more if you want. If you just want to keep doing more and more of them, you can use this as a, to mask them off if you're doing more of the same kind of jar stuff. So there it is. All right, so that's going to do it for another one. Thank you all for stopping by. Uh, if you like the content here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And whenever you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Uh, thank you all. Take care. We'll see you next time. <coughs> <coughs>
Forse nu är den här. Blablabla.